What's up guys? Also a Rock Bottom Cats here. On tonight's video, I'm going to be doing a bank fishing trip. Uh, we've also got Mitchell here. He's going to be fishing with us and as you're about to see, he's going to be uh, he's going to be doing all the catching. I'm going to be doing the fishing and I'm going to be the videographer for most of the night. So fortunately for y'all, uh, Mitchell came so y'all get to see some fish caught. But give you a quick rundown on the setup um, and the area that I'm fishing. Um, it's a pretty shallow section on the river. Uh, water levels are extremely low, so it's even more shallow than what I, I like it to be when I'm fishing this area. But it's probably about two to four feet deep and most of the spots we're fishing. There are some holes out here, but where we're set up here on the bank, there's really not a hole within casting distance. So that's what we're throwing. We're just kind of space our, our lines across the water and try to catch some fish moving up upstream tonight. Uh, bait wise we're going to be using uh, pretty much all bluegill uh, i think we might have some sucker and i don't know if mitchell brought any shad but do some live bait and some cut bait and all our rigs are the santee rig which i will try to show y'all let's see there we go so basically it's a carolina rig with a float on it so you attach a uh, sinker up here i've got it on sinker slide i've got anywhere from 18 inch to probably 24 inch liters and then about six inches from the hook I've got a float attached, and then below that, I'm using eight alt. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, guys. Sorry about that. Using eight alt circle hooks. So that's the setup I'm using. Uh, rod wise, got big cat fever rods and pin squalls, and then I've got several or a couple um, pin. I think they're rampage rods with uh, pin warfares on there. So that that is our rig and setup for the night. So. We're gonna get, well, we've already, I'm making this the next day, but as you're about to see, we're gonna get everything baited up, cast out there, and uh, let you guys check out the fish that were caught. Yep, yeah. he's on there now. Let's see what we got. I think it's both in, because it, it don't feel big as nothing. Either that or a little tiny catfish. Might be a little tiny catfish. Whatever it is, he's been bothering me for a, a solid hour. What do we got? Oh, we got a gar. <clears throat> yep. Man, I hooked him good. Gracious, I don't know how I even did that. Aggravating thing. All right, guys. First fish is not what I was really wanting, but uh, got to say uh, a gar. <laughs> I'm surprised I even hooked the jacker. He's been messing with my bait for a while now, but uh, he finally hooked up and uh, we got him. So let you guys check him, check him out. There's that old, old snout on him. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on them teeth. He's got more sand on him than he does anything. Let's see. There y'all go. The old teeth on him. They're cool fish. All right. Let's get him tossed back. Oh, there's something happening with this one. Yo, yo, come get this one. You got one on that one. <laughs> there's a fish. Is he hung or is he pulling? Uh, he's hung. There you go. It's gonna be one of them nights, I guess. He's still on. Here, I'll get this off. All right, there you go. I'm gonna give him some slack. Let him run with it. Huh? What? That one's been bumped again? Yep. Hey. There he, there he is. I just saw him bust the water. Did he, did he get out of the rocks? Yeah. All right, good. You got grippers over here? Uh, I do not. Mm. The flathead or blue? Uh, well, I think he's flat. He's got a trying to stay down. Well, if he's flathead, I won't worry about the grippers, but if we got a blue on here, I'm gonna go get some grippers. That's blue. That's a blue. Let me go get the grippers. Well, you got the catfish skunk out since I failed. 
Oh, it's flatty. It is a flatty. Oh, it's pretty flathead. They just had some energy. That was a nice fish, man. Bring them on here. Yeah. All right, just, yeah, just don't do anything. I don't want them to thrash. Actually, I don't like grippers on them, but I'm gonna actually use a gripper on him because he is just. <sighs> Hold on. I can't, he won't open it. Got him. Yeah, it was a better yeah, it looked like he was just in the skin right there. Yeah. All right, Mitchell has got the skunk out. I lost the first catfish, but he uh, he got the skunk out with a nice flatty. Uh, back up just a little bit, Mitchell. There we go. Good fish. Real good fish. We'll uh, get a couple pictures of them, and I toss him on back in the water. Yeah, he he's got some nice, nice patterns on him. Let me get up close to him. We can see him. Great fish. And that was on cut bait, I believe. All right, we'll get him tossed back. Hey, awesome. I got it, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Hey, Joe. I, I left my tent wide open as well. This is, I think, cut bait. Now that sounds like a blue cat. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and toss him back. Well, I won't. Hold on. This guy's. Oh, he's under my lines. We're good. Swing that around. Well, the camera's on him and 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 you. Yeah. Um, well, they just met. Hey guys, <laughs> I need to get this blue in. Where's the? Uh, There's some grippers right there. <laughs> hey, and the flathead's gone. We're good. Okay. I was worried. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I'm not sure why. He wasn't even out of the water, but two minutes. All right. Got him. Cool. Got him. Whoa! Yeah, he's, he's got some spunk to him. All right, guys. My skunk's out now. Got me a blue to start the night off with. It's a pretty blue cat, y'all. We got a little bit of belly on him at that. So Mitchell got that flathead. I finally got a blue on the bank. I lost one a little bit earlier. He got tangled up in rocks and he was thrashing all over the place, but I was trying to get him out and ended up cutting my, my leader on the rock. So either way, there's a fish on the bank now, catfish on the bank, get him tossed. Oh, man, <laughs> that'll wake you up. Get him tossed back and uh, bait back up. Oh, and that was on cut bait. Yeah. All right, fish on. This was, this was, this was I was gonna say he's he looks like he's pulling a little bit. Him, Watch the point right there, that yeah. little sandbar. You might have to go swimming. Hey. He done stopped. Let's see if he's still uh, he might still be on there. The line's still moving. You still good with that fish down there, man? Yeah, but you got your crocs on fish. I do. Can you walk to that point? And I'm gonna, I'll try. But it drops off somewhere. See he across that point? Oh my word, Mitchell. I see, I see. Just hang tight. Because it'll go from one foot to five foot. You should have given me a rod.
I don't know what he's run into. He's wrapped all up into something out here. I don't know what he is yet. All I know is I don't want to fall in right here. All right, which rod is this one? Okay. I'm going to walk out there once you get on the kayak and try to help you. I got one on here. Oh, you got one on there? I hear something out there. All right. Well, And then we'll uh, go get the other one. I'm gonna hear all them start screaming out there. <laughs> I won't be walking on water. Yeah, there's a there's a little bit of a washed out channel right there and it's really loggy and I can't see. Little flathead. Yeah, little flathead. All right, hold tight. Oh my. You talk about barely hooking a fish. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do with him? Here, uh, just, just. I'll, I'll I'll let him get him tossed back. Oh, this is lefty too. That's proud. I hate lefty. All right, guys. My recording. All right, guys. Going swimming again. Mitchell's in the kayak. Let me turn this clicker off. There you go. Oh, I was going to hold it and guide it while you were out there so you didn't have to mess with that. I'm going to leave it sitting over here if I hear my clicker's going off. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard one just then. I'm gonna give you a push. Hang tight. Is that a floats in front of you? <clears throat> All right. I know y'all can't see any of this because it's dark, but just about went swimming. All right, well, you had to come play in these logs right here. I've said that this right here would be a good spot to hold a flathead. Well, he must live right here because he came out, got your bait, and went right back. Right there is where it comes from. He's right here. I don't feel anything. Look right there. But it must be a little bit of depth right there because that line went, is going straight down. All right, there you go. You feel them? Yep. Oh, yeah. Reel them in, reel them in. I'm... I can't use this last-handed reel to save my life. All right. That's a good fish, it feels like. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, man, yeah. Thing, be you better grab them. I'm putting them right there at the kayak for you. Lip them, man. Oh, God, dang it. All right. I'm trying not to slip the Got them? Yep. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> We're going to trade. You take this yeah. rod. Right. Hang tight. 
Yep. Got him. All right. Now he ain't as big as your best, but he's a good fish. You gonna walk him across? I'll walk him across for you. Let me get up here on the rock. Give me some line. All right, there you go. Reel it in. I'm trying to double lip them so I don't lose them on my walk. Well, that was fun, guys. Now I can't see. <laughs> I'm gonna step off in a hole with the fish. Then I'll noodle them. Oh, that's one way to get it, folks. Two good flatheads for Mitchell tonight. Oh. And we're home. All righty. All right, Mitchell's got him another good one. This one, uh, was this live bait or cut bait? This is cut. Cut bait, another one on cut bait. Move his head, he got a big old head. Turn him up sideways, think that head. <laughs> he got a big old head on him. He's, he's uh, I'm surprised to still see the marks on him, honestly, because it's getting later in the year uh, for those marks, but uh, he looks like he's been on the nest somewhat recently. But either way, he uh, he's pretty lean, but got a big head, pretty fish. So get a few more angles of the fish and uh, We'll get him back in the water. Yeah, he's got some parasites on him. There he is, guys. Oop, got my shadow in there. Let me get it around this way. All right, we'll get some pictures now. You got it? Yep. All right. I need to go swimming again. No. You might get in that too. What you need? That box thing. The, uh, the alarm? No. I still don't know what you want me to get. I think I'm gonna have to go get him, ain't I? The bell. Oh, I can't get that bell you, unless you wanna put it down here so I can get to it. Oh, got it. All right. You good? I think I'm bringing him over that little. <laughs> Eating bugs again. Yep. Can you tell there's a blue or flathead? No, it's a little whatever it is. So we don't need grippers, in other words. Not unless it comes up and it looks a lot bigger than what it or you don't know it could, but considering it just come over that island. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a little flathead. Not a little flatty. Not a little flatty. <laughs> they waking up now. I don't know. Hey, bring him right here. I'm gonna slide him right here. And ah. okay, you can come up there. You just got me wet, little dickens. <laughs> mm. And I gotta use my bait again. Okay. Well, Mitchell, Mr. Flathead done struck again. Another another flatty for the books. Pretty fish. Alright, we'll let Mitchell get him back in the water. He's thinking about it, but he don't want to commit to it. Come on, you stay here and think about it. Thank you. Guys, I'm gonna win smallest fish of the night. <laughs> Check that out. I got a little baby flathead. This is a this is a Trevor fish. Trevor, if you're watching, I'm giving you a run for your money on small fish. But 
Mitchell's making fun of me because I caught this small fish. He said he's going to catch the biggest fish. Well, he has caught the biggest fish, but he says he's going to catch a bigger one, and I get the smallest one. So my goal is to catch a bigger fish than Mitchell and have the smallest fish. So we'll see what happens. We'll get this little guy tossed back in. Guys, I want to show y'all something. Look at the bugs. I mean... I'm, I'm dreading my I have there is a handle right there that comes out you can't even see it that's how thick they are just look at all them it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be fun come morning once the uh, dew settles on all these guys and they're all stuck to the kayak so just wanted to share that with y'all I think it's this one There it is. All right, guys. There's a fish. It's, it's a little wrapped, but I think I can get him out. There he comes. All righty. It's been a minute since I caught. Well, since I had one on here. Come on in, buddy. That joker nailed it. <laughs> Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. And we got us another blue cat. An energetic one at that. Another blue. Ah, gotcha. All right, guys. There's a, a good gracious. Look at that. I think that's all hanging out. It's another, uh, another blue cat. Another one on cut bait, too, at that, I believe. I think that's cut. Yeah, that's cut baities on. So, another fish. Get a quick picture and I'll toss them back. You got a fish on here, man. Hey, he's a pulling drag. Oh, well, that's because your drag's loose. You got a fish. Well, folks, it's another one of those uh, nights where uh, waiting on Mitchell. <laughs> I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep tension on. There you go. All right, get him in. We're just gonna listen to the tingle bell, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You uh you had one earlier and I ran down here but I missed him. And I had one that tried to unspool my hole real while ago but I couldn't get out of my tent. Oh you got another flathead, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Another good one. Alright. Bring him right here. Let me let me lip him. All right, don't don't yank him. I want to see how good he's hooked before I go and start. Right. Easy, buddy. Easy. Oh my word! Ow! All right, Mitchell's got him another one, Mr. Flathead over here. I, uh, I'm glad he came, because I wouldn't have caught anything if he won't here. Well, I wouldn't have a video of anything if he won't here. Another pretty fish, guys. Get a few angles of them. 
Well, y'all can check them out. Pretty fish. Alright, we'll get a quick picture. And uh, we'll get them back in the water. And that was another one on cut bait, y'all. It's crazy. I don't think we've caught anything on live bait out here tonight. Alright, guys. I'm pretty sure y'all missed the fish being reeled in. But maybe y'all at least heard the alarm go off. Mitchell got him a little blue here. He's about to explode. Look at that belly. Alright. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get a gripper in his mouth. He's barely hooked. Got him. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mitchell, what'd you catch, man? Got the river monster. That's a giant. Yeah. Ooh wee. That one about about broke the rod off. Oh, well, not broke the rod off, but broke the rod holder. <laughs> Just barely. Woo! Enough room for the grippers. But look at that belly. Alright, I'll let you get him put back. Alright guys, real quick I'm gonna show y'all my setup that I'm running tonight. So I've actually got a black light strip run around and it's not attached. I've just got it laid out here on the um, on the kayak and as I don't know if I've shown this yet or not or if I'll show it later but you're gonna see all the bugs that attract so that is the downside to the black light but the nice thing is you don't have this place lit all up with the uh, the big floodlight that I'll show you all in just a second and you can see your lines really well and you can see them running out into the water and it makes it a lot easier to determine which lines being hit especially if you're like me and you have dark rods they're really hard to see at night easy to see in the day but hard to see at night so that's the downside to them so just just wanted to show you all this it's just a simple little uh i think i paid i don't know 15 bucks for it on ebay little black light led strip and i've got it hooked into my lithium battery and uh i leave it running all night long and i can see see my lines really well I will show you. Let me grab the remote and I will show you guys the uh, floodlight that I have as well. Alright, so it's about to get really bright. It's going to overexpose this camera really, really bad. But this it's pitch black out here right now other than I have the black lights running. And then I've got this. I don't think you can see it. now. you can't see it. I've got this remote that will operate this floodlight. And that's it right here that's kind of glowing there's a strip on it that lights up with the black light so i hit my remote turn that on and boom it lights everything up out here but i don't like leaving that running all night because i don't have to and i've got this handy handy little remote here if i can get it to focus it doesn't want to focus but give me just a second guys all right guys here's a remote for that light you got your power button you can change the colors you want more of a greenish light, yellow light, white light. The uh, I think the green one uses uh, a couple different LED strips. The yellow one uses just a uh, yellow strip, and the white one has just a white strip. But you can see how the colors change a little bit with this. You've also got different brightnesses preset in there, and you can dim it or make it brighter with the plus and minus switch it's got these cool little modes you can make it flash and strobe and stuff which i'm not going to do right now because it's just kind of annoying but you've got that on here also so nice little remote i've got it plugged you can see all the bugs too I've got it plugged just into the battery here and it's got a uh a uh, a car or I call them a cigarette outlet. I can't even think what they're called, but you can plug it into your vehicle as well You can swap those out and plug in with that as well. It also comes with a nice case and a uh, Got a suction cup you can stick it to something or it's got a uh, stand that'll go on the ground and you can uh, Put it pretty much anywhere. You can put it in the ground. Just set the pole that it's on Right back here. There's the pole You can see it goes up to there and you set that in it and uh use it anywhere and that pole collapses down to about two feet so it's pretty compact for what it is so if you guys are just getting into catfishing or or if you've been into catfishing you're looking a good light for at night definitely uh check that light out so shoot me a uh just leave a comment below and uh, i'll be glad to leave you guys a link well 
Go down and got another one. He's still on there. Mm. I was sleeping pretty heavy. Well, they might have got off. On the right one. Yeah, there it is. What you got? They must just be camping out right there. Is he a flipper or does he need to be grabbed? Flathead. That's a blue cat. That's a flathead. That's a blue cat. I can't tell. That would be a flathead. No, look at that. That might be a channel cat. Hey! You got your trifecta. I think it's the first time I've ever done that. Well, it oh. is. It has happened. Yeah. All right, Mr. Trifecta, it officially happened. Got, yeah, they, the fish keep on getting smaller, so uh, that's not a good sign. But Mitchell has successfully caught a, a blue cat, channel cat, and a bunch of flatheads tonight. So. And I got the privilege of being his photographer slash videographer. So I appreciate you letting me come along, Mitchell, and uh, have the honor of uh, videoing and taking pictures, making this video of you on this trip. So, all right, I'm gonna let him toss it back. All right, guys, I survived the night. Here's, a, here's my morning sunrise view. Well, the sun hadn't come up yet, but it's, it's about to, so. Hang out here a little bit longer and uh, pack up and uh, go on to the house. There's a fish. There was a fish. He gone now. He still there? Yeah, you got him. Oh, good old lefty. Mm -hmm. Yep, like a good fish. Yeah, he did. But he's reeling in like that. I was gonna say, he looks, so good. He looks like a little dink now. That flathead. Yep, you the flathead king tonight, man. Garfin. Garf. Mm, bowfin. That was a nice bowfin. Get him up here. You want to see him, don't you? That's a good bowfin. Watch out. Alrighty. Yeah, that's a real nice one. All right, well, Mitchell got him a Garfin. Bowfin. We call them Garfins because we never know if it's a Gar or a Bowfin. But that's a nice Bowfin. Yeah, we found out this one was Bowfin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can, uh, let's see if we can make it focus on his mouth here. They don't want to. They've got teeth. If y'all aren't familiar with these fish, they will put a hurting on you. So don't put your finger in their mouth. They'll slice you right open. They're not like a gar, but they've still got got some razor blades in there. We'll grab a quick picture of them and uh, get them back in the water. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this trip. As you saw, uh, Mitchell had a really good night out here on the river. I uh, got some great flatheads. He got a trifecta as well, flathead, blue cat, and a channel cat. And he just ended it off with a nice bowfin. Um, last night really wasn't one of my best nights, but that's okay. Mitchell came in, saved the day, and gave you all some fish to watch get caught. Um, one thing I do want to mention real quick is the Catfish Conference. There's going to be a link in the description below. That's going to take you over to the Catfish Conference website, and that'll give you updates and information on any upcoming events for the Catfish Conference. Also, check out the Catfish Conference YouTube channel. Uh, there'll be videos similar to what you just saw here as far as fishing videos, there's tutorial videos, and there'll also be videos uh, just showing catfish the Catfish Conference from years past. So make sure you jump over there and check that out and subscribe to that channel. Also, if you want to see more videos from me, check out my channel, uh, Rock Bottom Cats here on YouTube, and subscribe to that as well. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, 
I will do my best to answer them. And if I don't see them, uh, somebody from the Catfish Conference should answer them or get a hold of me to answer those questions for you. So make sure you uh, leave them below. Uh, as always, I appreciate all you guys watching my video. If if um, I've already <laughs> seriously, come on over here. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to redo part of this, but uh, you gotta put them up here so you can see them. Mitchell Mitchell Dunn called him a flathead. I'm not sure. Were you even fishing? Well, my hind rod in the water. <laughs> Did you know he was on there or are you just reeling it in? No, I knew he was on there. Okay, well anyhow, Mitchell got a flathead. I'm gonna come back to this and we'll finish up this uh, closing video here in a second. I gotta take a quick video of that fish for you guys to see and uh, get a picture. So, I'm actually just gonna end it on that note. Mitchell, go ahead and put your fish up there. This is, there you go. There's Mitchell's, Mitchell's flathead. He's the flathead king tonight. I don't know. I might have I might have won the littlest in this one. Nah, mine earlier was smaller. You do not win the smallest fish award. I still I'm still holding on to that title. But either way, guys, this is this is Mitchell's trip. I'm just here to take pictures and videos. So I appreciate all you guys watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this trip. Um, just want to mention real quick before uh, I get anything else, I've got a fish on that rod. <laughs>